realize I'm in like dire need to get my eyebrows waxed. Yeah. So they are so much better now. Show them your weirdness. Oh. So I'm gonna do a quick check in really quick. Hey, I have to find a plant for my friend because it was her birthday like last week and then right after that I have to drive all the way down to Center City pretty much what building I'm going to is an art building for my art class I have no idea how I'm getting back home so um but yeah Y'all later. Find, run into an eucalyptic plant eventually because I want to personally I want it just because I could put it so I could put it in my shower and I wanted to get like a, a bundle just for my friend so she could put it in her shower because they have this in the plant it has these oils that when the shower steams up it the plant will actually sweat the oils out or steam the shower with this calming stuff that's in it uh, benefits it would be great for me but um I just have to run in the store and grab her a card and then I'll be back and then I'm gonna head home and then get ready to go down to the city because now I'm gonna go by myself but there's still some people going on a trip so I'm happy about that yeah, and today we have just a really nice day hey Hi. Hey guys. Yeah. little clip in to kind of explain where I was going. Um, I did take footage that of the Philadelphia Museum of Art, but I actually didn't go to that building. Where I actually went was called the Parliament Building. Uh, the Parliament Building is a exhibit and a building where they hold pieces of collections that are over at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. In the Art Museum itself, they hold over 240,000 different collections of art that they have there. And the building is really great for, for artists, scholars, teachers, and just, just for public 
the public itself. Um, you could actually go there, schedule an appointment, and pretty much what you can do is you can physically see art, like, the real deal. Um, you, they have pieces from Mary Cassatt to Picasso, Rembrandt, and even Andy Warhol. They have all these fantastic, famous artworks that are just in their collection, and you can actually schedule time to come see them. Um, and that's why we, well, I went on a class trip, and this video is for education purposes. I went with a class trip, and my teacher gave us this awesome opportunity to see different types of artwork. Um, it was really cool because I got to see a actual Rembrandt. Um, The, the three tree. We saw a Rembrandt. It's a dry point etching and engraving piece called The Three Trees. Very beautiful work. It was awesome to see it so up close. Now, for the exhibit portion, we did get to see a show called Long Light by David Lieby. He is an artist that does photography. He has been doing art since he chose to stay in Philadelphia. He, he had made this big collection of over 50 years, put it in this awesome exhibit. Um, a lot of the pieces were beautiful. They were very touching and understanding and some, now, some of it is graphic, um, some of it I couldn't put in this video, but I would definitely, like, recommend, like, I'm even going to put the link in the description for, um, him. He had a short little, it's like a 60 second video interview of him with the University of Arts kind of explaining himself. Either way, I just wanted to add just a little bit of information about what was kind of going on, um, Definitely would highly recommend if you're an art student and there's a specific artist that you want to learn about or anything like that. I really, this was like an awesome resource or a tool um, to kind of like get an understanding of where you can get your resources and learn a little bit about art. Um, it's something that I didn't know and I thought it was just it was just, it blew my mind. As an artist, I was just, it was phenomenal to have that experience and to have that, to, to have that, now that information and that education that I have now and share it with other people. Um, but now I'm going to show you the video of some of the pieces that I got to see. Um, and just, just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the art. It's awesome. So, since I did a great job 
in the present, explaining what I was doing. I'm just, I'm going to fill you in right now again. So, after the museum, I went to Fairmont Park, and we just hung out. Snacks? I had a, sna <laughs> I had a snack, and then um, after that, one of my classmates actually ended up taking me home, and before we went home, um, she wanted to stop at a park, and it so happened to be one of my dream places to have traveled in um, Philadelphia, and it was um, to Devil's Pool, and it was, it was really, it was awesome drive, um, there was, like, these bridges, they're, like, the bridges are just, like, these massive cobblestone brick bridges, and they're just so beautifully structured, and then, like, to, the, like, the left of us driving, there's, like, this bike walk trail park that's there, and, of course, I didn't get any of that footage, it was, like, it was a good hiking, walking, type of trail that we took and then yeah I got to see Devil's Pool I heard so many people talk about and then actually be there and it was it was really cool at the same time I felt like it was um overrated when I actually went and saw it because I was just like oh that's it and I was is what it is unless the water gets higher towards the rest of the year I don't know it was like pretty much the end of the day end of the week um didn't go to my girlfriend's house because um, it got a little it got a little late, but that was a whole story time right there when all oh, that night went. Cause oh my god, what a terror! It was a it was a fun night. This is the last filler, and then the video's over, and then I get to make another one, and it was this was so fun. Let me tell you. That's a video. That's all I got for today. Um, any comments? Suggestions? Likes? <laughs> Call my shit Patricia. Peace, love, and art. Aww.